Donna Denise Nicholas was born on July 12, 1944 in Detroit, Michigan, USA, to parents Louise Caroline and Otto Nicholas. Her parents separated when she was a child, and her mother later remarried Robert Bergen. Shortly thereafter, Nicholas moved to Milan, Michigan. She has an older brother, Otto, and a younger sister, Michelle. In 1961, Nicholas graduated from Milan High School. She initially attended the University of Michigan to study law, but later transferred to Tulane University, where she majored in fine arts. Nicholas made her acting debut in a Spanish language play while still at university. During the civil rights movement, Nicholas left her studies to join the Free Southern Theater, an organization dedicated to providing entertainment for rural African Americans. Led by Gilbert Moses, Nicholas married him and toured with the theater. After a year, the marriage ended and she moved to New York City. In 1967, Nicholas became a member of the Negro Ensemble Company, performing in several plays, including Summer of the Seventeenth Doll, Congi's Harvest, and Daddy Goodness. She made her TV debut in 1968 with an episode of It Takes a Thief. In 1972, she appeared in her first film, Blackula, a black exploitation horror movie in which she played a key role as Michelle Williams. Nicholas's breakthrough came in 1969 when she was cast as Liz McIntyre in the television series Room 222, 1969-1970. This comedy drama aired on ABC centered on a fictional, racially diverse school with Nicholas portraying a compassionate guidance counselor. Her performance earned her three consecutive Golden Globe nominations for Best Actress in a Drama TV Series. In 1975, Nicholas starred as Beth Foster in the action comedy film, Let's Do It Again. Her role in this movie won her an Image Award for Outstanding Actress in a Motion Picture. In 1977, she played the lead character, Olivia Ellis, in the sitcom, Baby I'm Back. During the 1980s, Nicholas appeared in TV shows such as The Love Boat, Benson, and Different Strokes. She also had roles in movies like Marvin and Tig, Over Here, Mr. President, and Mother's Day. In 1990, she co-starred with Bill Cosby in the movie Ghost Dad, playing the character Joan. From 1989 to 1995, Nicholas was featured in several episodes of the drama series In the Heat of the Night, where she also wrote six episodes. This marked the start of her writing career. After the show ended, Nicholas enrolled in the professional writing program at the University of Southern California. She attended the Journeyman's Writing Workshop, working under the mentorship of renowned author Janet Fitch for five years. Nicholas also participated in the Valley Community of Writers Workshop. In 2005, Nicholas published her debut novel, Freshwater Road, a story set against the backdrop of the civil rights movement. The novel was acclaimed as one of the best books of 2005 by publications like the Washington Post, the Detroit Free Press, and the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. In 2006, it won the Zora Neale Hurston slash Richard Wright Award for Debut Fiction and the American Library Association's Black Caucus Award. On a personal note, Nicholas has been married three times. In 1964, she wed Gilbert Moses, the founder of the Free Southern Theater, but they divorced in 1967 with no children from the marriage. In 1973, Nicholas married singer-songwriter Bill Withers, but the relationship was troubled from the start, leading to a divorce after a year. In June 1980, Nicholas met CBS anchor Jim Hill at a poetry reading in Sacramento. They married on Valentine's Day in 1981, but separated in October 1981. Although they briefly reconciled, Nicholas filed for divorce again in 1984, which was finalized in 1987. Denise Nicholas is a multifaceted American actress, writer, and social activist whose life has been profoundly shaped by her involvement in the civil rights movement. Her journey into the arts was not a simple or straightforward one, it was a path deeply intertwined with the social and political upheavals of the 1960s. Nicholas made her acting debut while still in college, performing in a Spanish play. This experience ignited a passion for theater, which led her to join the Free Southern Theater, 
an organization dedicated to bringing live theater to rural audiences, particularly in the South. This theater group was not just about entertainment, it was about sparking change, engaging in meaningful dialogue, and addressing the pressing social issues of the time. As a member of the Negro Ensemble Company, Denise honed her craft and became a respected figure in the theater world. However, it was her role as high school counselor Liz McIntyre on the popular television drama Room 222 that brought her national recognition. This role, which she portrayed throughout the 1960s and 1970s, made her a household name. Her talent and versatility were further showcased in other projects, including the NBC police thriller In the Heat of the Night and the 1970s sitcom Baby, I'm Back. She also appeared in notable films like Blackula, Let's Do It Again, and Ghost Dad. Despite her successful acting career, Denise felt a pull in a different direction. In a December 2017 interview, she revealed that she always had a deep-seated desire to write. This calling became too strong to ignore, and at the height of her career, she made the courageous decision to step away from acting and pursue writing full-time. She enrolled in writing classes at her alma mater, the University of Michigan, where she began to hone her skills as a writer, starting with television scripts. Denise's dedication to her new craft paid off when she published her debut novel, Freshwater Road, in 2006. This award-winning book, which was lauded by critics and readers alike, marked a significant milestone in her career as a writer. The novel, set against the backdrop of the civil rights movement, was a poignant exploration of race, identity, and the fight for justice, themes that have been central to Denise's life and work. Interestingly, Denise had initially planned to become a lawyer before her involvement in the arts. She has often reflected on how the civil rights movement redirected her path. As she once stated, my change in direction regarding my life happened over time, but the most crucial time was during the civil rights movement where I worked with the Free Southern Theater and it changed everything. Her time with the theater in Mississippi was transformative, allowing her to engage directly with the people she aimed to serve through her art. These experiences she noted were more than just performances. They were powerful interactions that sometimes moved audiences to tears. Denise has also drawn interesting parallels between acting and the law, noting that trial law, like performance art, requires a certain theatrical quality. This observation underscores the deep connection between her various interests and talents, all of which revolve around storytelling and advocacy. In addition to her work as an actress and writer, Denise has remained a passionate advocate for social justice. She has been outspoken about issues such as the Hash Me Too movement, expressing her relief and satisfaction that these issues have finally come to light. Reflecting on her own experiences in Hollywood, she has candidly discussed the challenges she faced, including instances of harassment that, although they did not always result in fear, were nevertheless troubling. Denise Nicholas continues to be a force for change, both through her writing and her activism. She co-wrote Letters from Freedom Summer, a play for the University of Mississippi, and has expressed hopes of releasing a second book before she considers retirement. Now in her 70s, Denise remains as vibrant and committed to her craft as ever. She has always known deep in her heart that writing was her true calling, and she has embraced this passion with the same dedication that marked her acting career. Denise Nicholas's story is one of resilience, reinvention, and unwavering commitment to justice in the arts. Her journey serves as an inspiration to anyone looking to pursue their passions, no matter where they lead. If you have thoughts on Denise Nicholas's remarkable life and career, feel free to share them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest updates on her and other inspiring figures. Thank you for watching.